So I'd like to make a cultural observation this week. I'd like to talk about the difference between the Sephardi prophets and the Ashkenazi prophets. Um, so the first thing I'll note, and I just realized this in the Torah portion of Vayetze, this week's Torah portion, so we know the story uh, after the whole blessing, you know, episode and Jacob taking Esau's blessing. So Jacob runs off, he gets uh, then fooled by Lavan, perhaps that has to happen, and then he works 14 years, gets Rachel, Leah, they then run away, and, and we know the story. But the idea here, someone following Genesis, you know, a, a reading about Abraham, Jacob, Isaac, you get this feeling you're reading about a family and we're slowly growing into some people or something. But then if you read the prophecies that the sages decided to add on, you know, like the final bit of reading in synagogue that you read in shul, the prophets that, that come together. So until this Torah portion, the prophets that we are reading, Sfadi and Ashkenazim read the same bits. Although Ashkenazim usually read a bit more. And then we, re we get to Vayetze. And in Vayetze, we find a cult an interesting cultural difference. In Vayetze, if you're, if you're uh, Sfadi, then you read a good bit from, uh, uh, from Joel, from the prophet Joel, essentially saying God, you know, he refers to this bit about Jacob and, you know, that God, you know, what happened with Jacob and God brings us to Egypt. And, you know, God basically has always been there for us. And the way we read it here is we're told that the Israelites, even though today, right, that like way later on in time, we're misbehaving, but we're going to be good. We're going to be like lions. We're going to come after God. So it's this sort of, you know, it's, it's even though there's this, you know, we're being told off, it's told in a very positive, optimistic uh, uh, viewpoint. N now let's go to the Ashkenazim, the Ashkenazis. Um, for Ashkenazis, we read also uh, 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 Hosea. Uh, sorry, Ashkenazim, we read Hosea, and in Hosea, we read um, a bit about starting with Jacob, that, you know, he runs away, and God uh, bringing us down to Egypt, and there's also a lion, but it's very different. For Ashkenazim, the prophecy that, that Hosea brought is basically that God is going to be like a tiger, like a lion, like a bear, and the Israelites are going to be like a carcass or like a body that these fierce animals are going to rip open and devour. Like this idea of you sinned and there's going to be horrific punishment. And it's fascinating because if you read the two of them, both are talking about, you know, uh, um, the prophets telling Israel you've been naughty, but both doing it in very radically different ways. In fact, some Ashkenazim add a few verses after this horrific bit of, you know, devouring us like a, like a sort of corpse, you know, we're then told, you know, well, well, you know, there are a few psukim that some of us add that there's the sort of positive ending that, you know, we know God and we'll, you know, we'll be full and it'll all be great. But anyway, I just wanted to point that out, the difference between Sephardi prophets and Ashkenazi prophets or, or, or Ashkenazi and Sephardi sages that chose different prophetic bits and what they wanted to stress as a sort of afterthought. Uh, having concluded the, the Torah portion of the week. Shabbat Shalom.